Thursday night in Columbia, South Carolina celebrated senior night and closed out a three-game homestand with a 2-0 victory over visiting Ole Miss. Alongside the All-American Nancy Goffey, I'm Brad Muller. Well, South Carolina hadn't scored multiple goals in a game in a while, and they got what they needed to do in both ends of the pitch here tonight. Absolutely. They were solid in the back, as usual. They shut down uh, top shooters in the SEC and kept them pretty quiet tonight. And on the other end of the pitch, they had Claire Griffiths, who hasn't scored a goal yet this season, who solidified their lead, their two-goal lead. South Carolina would get it going in the first half on senior night. Why not do it with a senior? And it would be Alexa Bard taking charge here. She got some help. And that was the most beautiful goal set up by Lauren Chang. Flips the ball through. And Alexa Barr just redirects it so slightly past the keeper. For Alexa Barr, her fifth goal this season, the 17th of her career. And the Gamecocks now 17-0 when she scores during her career. Yeah, dance, go ahead. <laughs> Second half, Ole Miss. Try to test Michaela Krasowski a little bit. They finally got a few shots on goal, but not a whole lot behind them. No, they were right at Michaela Krasowski. It was pretty easy for her to go gobble up. The SEC's all-time leader in career shutout. She would get another one here, but Cox got a little padding in the second half as Claire Griffiths tallied her first goal of the season. And what a strike. It was like a knuckleball, hard for, hard for the keeper to read. <laughs> Look at that, you can see the trajectory of that. Beats Orcas for the goal, the second of her career, and the Gamecocks hold on to win it by that score of 2-0 on senior night. For Nancy Goffey, I'm Brad Muller.